This is the first of three videos that I'm going to put out to show you how to calculate joules. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to calculate joules using math with the same formula that James Prescott Joule come up with. So I know you guys have all heard of Einstein's famous equation, E equals mc squared. Well, it turns out that's the energy of an object at rest. We want to measure something that's moving, so we measure its kinetic energy. And the formula is one half m v squared, where m is the mass of the object in kilograms, and v is the velocity in meters per second. Before we use this formula, we're going to have to do a couple conversions. We're going to have to convert grams into kilograms. So grams divided by a thousand is equal to kilograms. And to convert feet per second into meters per second, you take your feet per second divided by 3.28, and that will get you your meters per second. So let's look at our formula again with conversions. Remember that joules is equal to one half mv squared with the mass in kilograms and the velocity in meters per second. So with our conversions, it's equal to one half times the weight of the BB divided by a thousand to turn the BB weight into kilograms times feet per second divided by 3.28 times feet per second again divided by 3.28 because the velocity is squared. Okay, so let's look at a really easy example. I want to use a BB weight of 0.25 grams, and its velocity in feet per second is going to be equal to 350. So now if we toss it into our formula, joules is equal to 1 half times 0.25 divided by 1,000 to turn it into kilograms, times 350 feet per second divided by 3.28 to turn it into meters per second, times 350 divided by 3.28 again because the velocity is squared. And that turns into 1 half times 0 .000025 times 106.7 times 106.7. And it turns out that 106.7 meters per second is equal to 350 feet per second. And after doing all the math, the answer that I got is 1.423111125 joules. And if we look at the airsoft joules chart, we'll see that a BB traveling 350 feet per second at 0.25 grams is equal to 1.42 joules. So let me show you a formula that only requires one number to remember. It's kind of a complicated number, but you can write it down and put it in your wallet. And how this works is you take the BB weight in grams times feet per second twice, and then you multiply that times the joules number, which is 0 .0000465. Now let's use that example we used just a little while ago, where we use a 0.25 gram BB traveling at 350 feet per second. So 0 0.25 times 350 times 350 is equal to 30,625. So now we want to take that value 30,625 and multiply it times our joules number, which is 0 .0000465. And the answer that we get is going to be 1.42406 joules. And if you look at the joules chart, 350 feet per second with a 0.25 gram BB is equal to 1.42 joules. And with this formula, there's only one number that you have to remember. So that's it for this video guys, and I really do apologize for the math, but a lot of people have been asking me where did joules come from and how do you calculate a joule, and that's exactly how you do it. I'm having a really good time taking my really big videos and compressing them down into smaller videos so that it's easier for you guys to look at. In my next video, I'm actually going to be showing you how to use a chronograph. This is an X-Core Mark III and you see them in airsoft fields all over the place. Now you may already know how to use it but I know there's a lot of people who don't because I've seen people fumbling around with them trying to use them out at fields. And if you don't have one of these, you've never used it, watch the video. One of these days, somebody may hand you a chrono and say, hey, check everybody's guns for me. At least this way, you'll be able to help out. So until next time, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you consider giving me a like and subscribe. This is Shrek out.